hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel all right so i'm just gonna tell you i recorded this video and then something happened to the video to the point it won't load so i literally am recording this video once again and for y'all getting to my hair stuff not too much on my hair stuff not too much my daughter did my hair and i said i would keep it like this all day so yeah i'm gonna keep it like this all day and we're gonna record with this in my hair mm -hmm. look and that's her when she's a baby y'all uh. all right so i'm gonna get right to the video and i'm gonna tell y'all how i made um 900 plus dollars in facebook reels first let me take a sip I'm going to give y'all like some little tips. I got my little notepad right here. And I'm just saying a little tip. See, if I can remember everything without looking at the book, I'll be good to go. But I, I can't do that. Yeah, I'm going to tell y'all how I made over $900 with Facebook Reels. So I got invited to the program back in December of 2021. And we are now in july we are now in july so when i got the invite i was randomly invited like i didn't sign up or nothing like that i didn't i didn't do nothing like that i just was randomly invited by facebook it was actually december 7th like literally right be like christmas month perfect timing some people are in the program and some people are not in the program and they still waiting for an invite and I think they got some sign up link thing now. I'm not sure if they I don't I'm not sure and I'm not sure how true it is. But I'm gonna give y'all the tips and the tricks right now. Okay. So when it comes to like when you get comments and stuff on your posts and your reels and it's important that you engage. Even if it's a little even if somebody commented a little emoji I think that you should respond back with an emoji or say hello or something. I think engaging with people that is common on your reels is important. Because sometimes Facebook just might push a video that they see that you're engaging with people. Your video might get pushed. Your video might go viral. This is sending me. I Maybe I should make a thumbnail. No. Since I've been in the program, I literally gained over 4K followers. I literally gained over 4K followers on Facebook. Literally, when I first got into the program, I started with like 300 to 800 followers. That's literally all I had. I didn't even have. I don't even. It was in between there somewhere, but it was nothing over 800. I think. If you feel like, um, I can encourage, I encourage y'all to do reels. Even if you feel like your reels is getting 10 views, I encourage y'all to keep those videos up. Don't go back and delete your reels because you got one view or you got two views or you got less views than what you expected. Because you just might never, you never know when that video will take off. Like you literally don't know when that video just might take off. Like it can be so random. What the fuck I just said? It can be so random. Y'all know what I mean. You also have to be consistent. Be consistent. Consistency is key. Be consistent. I don't. I'm not saying post a thousand reels, but if you want to post a thousand reels every day, go right ahead. I'm just saying, post enough reels so one of them can at least pop. Like, I don't want to say post. At one point, I was posting 10 reels a day. That's To me, it was draining me, so that's why I stopped. Was it working? It was working sometimes. Some days it works, some days it don't. But I didn't, and, like, posting 10 reels a day. Literally, I was taking my reels. I was getting my reels over TikTok. Like, I would do TikTok videos and just post them as my reels. Just make sure you remove the watermark. Remove the watermark when you do these reels because you will not get paid. And I just say, when it comes to creating content for these reels, just be yourself. Literally, just be yourself. Don't be nobody else. Don't take nobody's video and try to make it your video because they will probably block you. Just be yourself. People love to see the realness in you. I don't care how weird you may think it may be to some other people, but being yourself 
if that's weird, be real. If being yourself is weird, be real. And if that's if if you feel like you yourself is weird to other people, that's you being real. So be just that. Be yourself. No matter what nobody say, ignore negative comments, pay negative comments, no mind. Cause a opinion can't pay no bills. Their opinion on you can't pay no bills. And whatever problem they have with you, it's on them. They have a problem within themselves. So just be yourself when you create in this content. In your when you create in these content for these reels, be yourself. Be yourself. That's literally all I can say is be yourself. When it comes to creating content, be yourself. Oh, like I said, like pretty much be original. Don't post nobody else's video as your own. Because you might get blocked. Use hashtags relatable to your content. Sometimes I don't even use hashtags. I kid y'all not. Sometimes I don't use hashtags at all. At all. And my videos do good. And then it's sometimes when I do post hashtags, they don't even do good. But it's like an in-between thing. So, do I, I started back using hashtags now. But before, I really wasn't using hashtags. But, yeah, now I started back using hashtags because I feel like they, they work now. But before, I didn't feel like when I first started, I didn't feel like the hashtags was working. I didn't feel like that. So, yeah. Use hashtags. Uh, make sure you use relatable sounds, relatable music. Um trending you got to make sure these sounds is trending if you're going to use them make sure the music is trending and also use your voice use your voice i literally did a video with my voice and i think i got like over 500 views use your voice shoot make your voice a sound somebody might use it use your voice somebody might use your voice and you might go viral use your voice what you got a voice for if you ain't gonna use it use it so as far as the payment with facebook i just be feeling like it's all over because when i first started the program in december i was getting 14 dollars every thousand views now i feel like every thousand views i get is at two dollars i feel like once you start you start at a certain price and then um over the months the pricing change i'm not too sure on the pricing y'all gonna have to um get some more info on somebody else when it comes to pricing but i feel like the pricing pretty much changed um and for your pay uh, for your payout make sure you have all your updated information you don't want your money going to somebody else's account or anything like that you don't want you don't want somebody else to take your money so make sure you put your correct information because facebook do not care and i don't even think they got a support system where you can reach out to them they might but I be feeling like they be taking forever to respond if you ask them a question. So yeah, um, and a monthly pay when they pay, they pay you monthly. It's not a weekly thing. It's not a bi-weekly thing. They pay you monthly every month around the twentieth or the twenty-first. Um, they pay it, your pay comes to whichever account you use. Um, they have PayPal as you can use PayPal too. That's what I use. Cause once they send it, I immediately get it. Um, you want to make sure you remove your watermark from all your videos. You can use goldownloader.com and copy the link from the TikTok that you want to remove the watermark from and you put paste it there and then save the video to your phone and then upload it um, to Facebook. And out of all things, please, this is very important what I'm about to say, please avoid being blocked. Avoid it. Avoid it anything on your facebook that you feel like you shouldn't be saying on that facebook don't say it because they're gonna block you um try to avoid cursing now i try not to curse on my facebook page at all like sometimes i might curse and i might use the little stars to bleep it out but um i'll be taking chances doing that but don't curse um i literally got blocked for 90 days well my block was supposed to be 90 days but it was less than that and i got blocked from saying girl i will beat you up i don't know which one of the words got me blocked but it's more than likely beat you up 
but yeah make sure you guys don't say nothing once your page get get once you get invited to the program and you accept the invite please watch what you say watch what you share too because if you share something that's not following a facebook guidelines they can block you for that they'll delete that post that you shared like just be careful and mindful of the things you say and the things you share because i'm I, man, after me getting blocked that one time, I learned not to get blocked. I learned I have to watch everything I say. Every single thing I say, I have to watch. And, I, and I'm glad I watched what I said. Because now I ain't trying to get blocked no more, y'all. I think I pretty much covered everything. I don't feel like I covered everything. Because I don't literally... I'm still learning this Reels bonus program. So, yeah bear with me please be consistent on this youtube youtube uh, youtube stuff and i'm trying y'all i'm trying like i'm trying to be youtube is one thing and i say this a lot on my videos youtube is literally one thing i can't be consistent with i can't i think it's it's literally the editing part for me it's like i could sit down and record all day like i could do those little short create those little short videos and post it up here it's simple it's a short video but when it comes to editing a whole video yeah no but yes okay so I, let me go back over the things i said i'm not gonna go back over full details but um you get randomly invited um engagement is important Ella. engagement is important um if you um not getting enough views on your videos still keep them up be consistent be yourself original don't steal nobody shit use hashtags use trending sounds remove the water rock and don't get blocked it's real simple and i think the most important thing the most important thing when it comes to doing reels is being consistent and engaging that's it I probably do a part two video to this when I, cause I'm still learning, so I will literally probably do a part two to this. But other than that, just like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm out of here.